goal in the first place was to be alternative and underground and obscure because these were the kind of bands that we loved. these people? Who are these people? What are they doing? Nobody sounds like this band. It's a really emotional experience to come see the band, especially when they play you know, songs that I co-wrote or I recorded. It's, it's quite something. When I first started, 80% was positive and everyone was going, yeah, great to see you that you're playing. And then you've got the purists who were, uh, well, you didn't play that right, we prefer Nick. We knew each other from being in the village and, and having a, a shared love of punk rock, which was just happening right around the same time that we met. Obviously, I expected to be in the band about 12 months and I expected Stephen to come back. The bass on Prince Rupert, for example. The first I heard it, I thought, wow, I just want to play that bass. What makes this band so special, it's because you play a very kind of post-punk 80s track, but also the more recent albums are, are completely away from this. It's not just the trees, it's a community of people that make music happen. When we formed the band, we were very secretive about it because we, we didn't know how far we'd get with it. I'm glad that people have come and gone because it means it's not just a straight road.